There are 14 highest mountains in the world above 8,000 meters. The fastest someone has climbed all this mountain is nearly eight years. And I'm trying to do that in seven months, and, and that is very much as possible. So we've known NIMS for a while, and we've sponsored and supported many mountaineers over the history of Bremont. Uh, so when NIMS approached us and said, look, this is what I'm trying to do, the 14 highest peaks in seven months, with just the enormity of that, it sort of astounded Nick and myself. The chat in the community about this amazing individual, NIMS, and what he's possibly able to do, look what he's achieved so far. And Bremont came on as key title sponsor, partner, uh, Bremont Project Possible because we had complete faith in them. What NIMS is doing is a ridiculous show of endurance, um, both mentally and physically, and there are not very many people on earth who have stood on the summit of all 8,000 metre peaks, and NIMS is, is about to be one of them. What's more like insane is that seven of those peaks that he's done in phase one and two have all been brand new to NIMS. He's never climbed them before. I served with NIMS in the Special Forces. In fact, I was there in the squadron when he arrived off selection. And for such a small guy, he's got a huge personality. For this challenge, he's had to be resolute in what he wanted to achieve. We are like that in the Special Forces anyway. We have to, and we're focused on the end game. Initially, people weren't taking that much interest in it because they thought it literally was impossible. He couldn't do it. So he's pushed on, and to get to where he is now is phenomenal. And now people are beginning to realise that, yes, it is possible. I think when you're operating in extreme, remote, complex or hostile environments, um, there's something about that that makes you feel really alive. I think for NIMS, um, he spent most of his working career in hostile environments, so it's, it, it's, it's not going to be any real challenge in terms of that for him. As long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, uh, keep focusing on the objective, the goal, um, you know, he's proven that you can achieve anything. Phase one um, started with Annapurna, uh, Daulagri, Kanchenjunga, Everest, Lutse and Makalu. Phase one we did four rescues, um, all unplanned. So phase two um, we started with Nanga Parbat, straight into G1, G2, then on K2 and Broad Peak. Um, and that was obviously for phase one to complete six mountain. Uh, it took us 31 days. Phase two, to climb all those five mountains, 23 days, and that's running everywhere like a headless chicken. Uh, total, 93 days to complete 11 8,000 meter peak, uh, with multiple unplanned rescues, um, extreme weather conditions, nothing more to come out, I guess. Thank you so much. Nims, just want to say, you've absolutely smashed phase one. Phase two, cannot imagine what sort of hardship you've been going through, but you're nailing it anyway. Um, and you're showing the rest of the world what it's like when you have something in mind. You set that goal and, and Project Possible is exactly that. You're just about to rewrite the history books and good luck on phase three. Okay, Nims Dai, I want to wish you good luck, but most people say luck is when opportunity meets preparation. I know you're fully prepared for the rest of the task at hand. I think what NIMS is doing is absolutely incredible. He's inspiring a generation of people out there, including me. You know, I take a lot of inspiration. I follow his journey myself daily, um, and I'm really, really right behind him. Um, I won't wish him luck because I don't believe in luck. I believe in hard work. I believe in sacrifice, and I think he's got all that in abundance. So I have no doubt that he's going to be successful, and I'm certainly right behind him with everyone else. Stay safe, mate, and just come back for some beers. Good luck. NIMS, keep pushing away, bro. You can do it, keep plugging away, you've got the resolve, I know you can do it. Nims, you're going off to phase three, just carry on and do what you do best and uh, we look forward to seeing you when you get back.